Zizi here with the very best of the low country and I am on the beautiful Windsor plantation with the owners, Maria and Lynn. This place is beautiful, you all. Thank you so much for having us come out today. Well, welcome to Windsor. Yeah, now, you're very welcome. Appreciate okay. y'all coming. Oh, well, thank you. Now, the first thing that caught our eye when we came up here is this magnificent, magnificent oak tree. And then you were telling me a story about how you measure the age of an oak tree like that. Yeah, we uh, went and talked to some folks about how you can determine how old these trees are. And so we, you measure around them with a tape, mm -hmm. and then you do a little multiplication. Right. And this one's probably 700 years old. Oh my goodness. And Maria, how many trees like this or close to this do you have on the uh, property? The property has 21 live oaks. Wow. And this is our most magnificent one. Oh, absolutely. You've got uh, probably a million years worth of trees <laughs> just on this property. It's amazing that you cannot buy them. No. That's for sure. They can't be replaced, but as you notice, they hug the home uh -huh. and they protect it. Oh. And I feel it's it's kept that house what it is all these years. That is absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now I know you've done a whole lot of work in the house, but architecturally you've kind of kept things the same. As much as we can. Wow. Yes. So now you've got, uh, you talked to me a little bit about the molding that was in the house mm -hmm. that is around your fireplaces yes. and things like that. Now you. I can't remember what you called it, but it's like a- the dental molding. Dental molding. They were carved by the same person that carved the Mansfield Plantation fireplaces, and also they can be seen at the Kaminsky House. Okay. We have three carved fireplaces here. Wow. You also have something that is very, very rare. You still you still have the original slave kitchen yes, that's original to this plantation, and I was able to walk through it, you all, and it just really, really takes you back from I a historical perspective. Listening. Absolutely. And a wishing well. We do. Oh, do you need to make God. a wish? Oh, absolutely. I really need to wish for this piece of property. That's what I really need to wish for. Now, Lynn, tell us how old Windsor Plantation is. Uh, this plantation uh, was started in 1754. Okay. Or earlier than that, because wow. this overseer's house. Okay, and this was, is the overseer's this house? This is the overseer's house. It was okay. built in 1754. And so is the uh, slave kitchen that's adjacent to it. Wow. So and these trees have been here longer than that. But the Absolutely. house itself is 1754. And you go up in the attic, and you can see there all the pegs are by wood. Wow. And uh, we've kept everything the way it was as best we could. Uh, and so it looks internally just like it just did like it in did 1750. Then. So that's amazing. We're, we're honored to actually live here. People say, You live there? I said, No, we're just passing through. Well, this absolutely. This place has been here a long time. And you're really just stewards. We are of just passing. Yes, we absolutely. are the stewards for this place. We're, absolutely. We're honored to be able to do that. Now, Maria, you told me about the name Windsor and where it came from. What does the name Windsor mean? The name Windsor means winding shore. Mm -hmm. And if you go behind the house about several hundred yards, you'll see the Black River. And I'm sure that's where the name came when the British came here. Wow. So you all uh, keep in mind now that this was a rice plantation and the Black River is not too far from us here. Y'all, you can't beat this place for culture. You can't beat it for tradition. You can't beat it for history. And we are so blessed to be able to bring places like this to you. So keep watching for the very best of the low country and keep watching for more of Windsor. I wish for continued good health. Uh, everything my daughter could wish for new shoes, and this house.